right, people. How else can you do it? Uh, continue to support Wall's efforts, even pop up paddles, so they can continue to raise awareness you know, for all our area waterways. The pop up paddle again this Saturday. What time are we starting at Langdale Park? Um, oh, sorry, I got all I got all the stuff right here. Hold on. We are starting at 9 a.m. Please be there at 9 a.m. All right. At the lot, the actual launch will take part at 10. Why do you get there early so we can transport? We can all work together to transport the vehicles to wherever you're going to take out, whether it's the Salty Snapper or all the way over to the uh, Troopville boat ramp. That's well. right. And given that, you know, we still want people to wear a mask in the vehicles and keep the windows open, it may take a little longer than usual. Yep, correct. And then, of course, you'll see me in my floppy hat, my long sleeves, and slathered up. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> With all sorts of sunscreen as well. Very much looking forward to it on Saturday. Um, again, people uh, reach out. Just look at Walls on Facebook. Look at WWALS on their webpage as well, and you'll see that pop-up paddle. Come join us, and I think you're not even asking for a fee for this thing. Am I correct? Oh, that is correct. We're doing an experiment. We normally charge $10 if you're not a Walls member. If you are a Walls member, which is very inexpensive, it's $25 individual and $40 per family. But if you're not a Walls member, we normally charge $10 for a paddle. We're trying an experiment to see if that actually makes any difference in attendance. Yeah, and see also if you, if you might draw some new members in. That's right, that's right. We usually do anyway, but we'll see what happens this time. Pop-up paddle from Langdale Park to the Salty Snapper. If you choose to stop there, just eat a good lunch and go home, that's fine. If not, they're going to um, re-embark and head from another four miles from the Salty Snapper down to the Treeville boat ramp and a little bit of Little River. That's right, about 2,000 feet up the Little River.